what's up guys and welcome back to another video right to my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of crash on stored up or crashing on stored up issue you're currently having with team fortress 2 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. You would support my work on YouTube a little bit, and I'm going to really, really be thankful for that, and I'm going to thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step is going to be to simply navigate to the bottom of your screen, where you're going to right-click your taskbar and open up your task manager. Just simply use the shortcut. Once the task manager pops up, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, where you're going to click into processes, just to ensure that you're sticking around it. Afterwards, I want you to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. Once you clicked it, type in T and search for Team Fortress 2. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished with that, I want you to end the task manager again. The next step is going to be to take your Steam or your Team Fortress 2 shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it there, simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto the Windows symbol and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it right back on your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take your shortcut, right click it and hit run as an administrator. Once you click that, this will make your launcher or your game store it. If it crashes again, simply right click your shortcut, go to the very bottom where it says properties, hit compatibility and simply copy my settings. Let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable run this program compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administer symbol right on your shortcut. What I want you to do next is going to be to simply double click it and launch your game or launch your game over the launcher. This will probably fix your issue. Yeah guys that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah guys I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.